Okay, hello grade eights and welcome to lesson 5.5 calculating area found conveniently on page 164 of your textbooks and the goal is to develop and apply the formula for the area of a circle. See, they didn't say that in the title. So the area we're calculating is the area of a circle. All right, so let's go on and we're going to hit you pretty quick with the formula. Boom, there it is. Example, what is the area of a circle with a radius of 3 meters? Radius from the center to the edge to the circumference of a of the circle. Okay, so the radius equals 3. We're going to plug that into the formula. And the formula is area equals pi times radius squared. All right, we're going to illustrate that right here. So pi times radius squared, 3 is the radius. All right, 3 times 3 is 3 squared, which equals 9. All right, and then we have the answer 28.27 meters squared. So this is uh, rounded to two decimal places because 3.14 is not exactly pi. It goes on for a while. All right, so that's why we have these symbols as opposed to equal. All right, so let's move on, and this is directly from the textbook. All right, so the sprinkler waters in a circle with a diameter of 8 meters. Determine the area that is watered by the sprinkler. All right, so we have the area equals pi times radius squared, 3.14 times 4 meters. Wait a minute, that's 8. Why is that 4? Well, we know that the diameter is half of the radius. All right, so 0 0.5. All right, so half of 8 is 4. So it should read 3.14 times 4, and there's your answer. But it's kind of missing a step. So 4 squared equals 16. So the next line after that you insert right over here is 3.14 times 16. And then you get your answer. All right, so that's moving quick, but you can pause. That's the great thing about YouTube. So, pause if you need to and write down this example. All right, so next example, last example. Here we are here. A metal cover is needed for a circular fire pit with a radius of 250 centimeters. What is the area of the fire pit? So again, area equals pi times radius squared. 3.14 times 250 centimeters squared. Now again, we're missing a step. 250 squared is equal to 62,500. All right, and then you're left with your answer that would be 3.14 times 62,500. 62, Remember, you're using units that are squared because we're finding the area, okay? And that's why it's centimeters squared, all right? Not just centimeters, all right? So now, for good measure, you might want to move this number into meters squared. And we'll go through that tomorrow, okay? Or you can do it right now, and let's talk about it tomorrow or next day. All right, now, for next day, be it a Monday, be it the next day, we don't know when the next day is. So in the meantime, here's what I want you to prepare for next day. Right here, one, two, three, and four. That is for you to complete. Determine the area of each object. Here is your formula, okay? And this is right in the textbook. It's number four in the textbook. Checking, number four. Anyone else be checking? I'll be checking this. So come prepared with this, including your notes, and have this ready to go. All right, and we'll go through it and we'll correct it and uh, we'll make sure all is good and that you're getting this. All right, so hope you enjoyed this. Hope this was as much fun for you as it was for me. So see you next day and have fun. Good luck. See ya.